Yo guys, what is going on? It's your neighborhood friendly Zion here, or Z, whatever floats your boat. I hope you guys are all doing great. I'm doing amazing. Thank you for asking. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a fight story, and I don't have many of these on my channel, so I just want to ask if you can hit that like button. It would really mean the world to me. I appreciate all of you guys' support that you've been showing me in the last videos, and it really means a lot to me, so thank you guys for that. And without further ado, let's dive into it. So this story takes place on a regular day. There was nothing different about the day. It was just a normal day. I got up, and I remember it was a weekend because I got up and I started getting ready to go to the gym. And I was going to go to the gym with a few of my friends. I had a group of about five or six people. We were all going to go lift a little bit. I mean, not lift that hard because we were going to play basketball after. You know, we were just mainly there to play basketball, okay? We weren't really trying to hit chest too much because, you know, we'd just get too sore and then we wouldn't be able to play. So we got a little pump in and then we went over to the basketball court and we started playing some basketball. Now, I just kind of want to give you guys an overview of the people who we were with. Now, I was with one of my friends named Jim. He was in the Dine and Dash video and he was the one who actually stole from Denny's and it was that huge funny scenario that I had the little animation of. I'll play like a few seconds of it on screen. If you haven't seen it already, go check that video out after this one. They're coming! No, they're, 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 coming. Coming. they're coming! They're coming to the guard! Alex, shut the fuck up! I'm gonna kick your ass! Turn fucking green! It's America! <laughs> But, you know, anyways, I was with Jim and I was with a few of my other homies. We were all super close. And, you know, Jim was basically the only main character that you're going to need to know. So Jim, when he plays basketball, he gets very, very animated. OK, Jim loves talking shit. He loves playing rough. And, you know, he's a pretty big guy, so he can kind of back it up. And he is pretty good at basketball. But he honestly takes things a little bit too seriously for a pickup game at the gym. So we were just playing normal basketball. It was a five on five. And it was just basically like a full court scrimmage. We were beating the other team pretty bad. And this other guy on the other team who was guarding Jim starts talking shit. Now, Jim will not take anything, okay? If you start opening your mouth to Jim, Jim's gonna run his mouth right back at you. And you know, Jim gets loud and he gets very, very, very animated, like I said. And you know, it's only really when he's playing basketball that he gets this animated. I don't know, he just has an extreme love for the sport. And there's just a whole bunch of backstory behind him in basketball that he gets really, really, really animated when he plays. So this guy started talking smack to Jim and, you know, Jim wasn't having it. So, you know, they start going back and forth. And then I realized Jim is paying way more attention to the guy guarding him than he is about the game. They're just talking smack to each other and, you know, just running their mouth. The other guy was like, you want to go? And then Jim, obviously, you know, Jim could have crushed this guy. This guy was not that big. I don't know why he had so much confidence to think he could talk smack to Jim. But, you know, Jim was like, let's go outside right now and you know, all this stuff. And we were like, stop. And we just like broke it up. And then we switched Jim off this guy. So we didn't have any conflict. We just wanted to finish the rest of the game. And then the same guy that was guarding Jim before he switched goes over and says something to Jim on one of the plays. And it just re-sparked the whole thing. So this guy says something to Jim and Jim was not having it. Jim starts yelling at this guy. Literally full-fledged just yelling. Like he started screaming at this guy. And the whole gym went silent. They were just paying attention to what they were saying. And we weren't even playing at this point. We were just looking at the situation. And all I see is Jim just yelling at this guy. They're in each other's faces. They're just talking smack. And then randomly, out of nowhere, completely out of pocket... This other kid spits in Jim's face. And honestly, I swear to God, the second he did that, I thought Jim was going to kill him. Because Jim is huge, and he was already pent up about the game. I had no clue what he was about to do to this guy. I thought he was just going to punch his face in. Like, you know, I was really fearing for the life of this kid who spit in Jim's face. Because you do not want to spit in Jim's face. Jim is a tank. Like, this guy stood no chance. But somehow he had the balls to talk shit and then he spat on him so he spits on jim and surprisingly i'm just waiting for jim to punch this guy and nothing happens jim is just standing there and then one of my friends who was on our team goes up running and he literally jumps and punches this guy in the face and like the side of the head and i was like whoa and it was just like immediately a brawl between this guy and the, he had a few of his friends on the other team and you know our whole squad so everyone literally jumps in like as soon as my one friend came out of nowhere and basically like backed up Jim for him I guess my friend just did what Jim wanted to do you know Jim was gonna kill this guy if he got a punch on him so I'm glad Jim didn't interfere and my friend did because Jim would have actually killed him so this guy comes out of nowhere and punches the hell out of this kid the kid goes falling his glasses fall off and then I jump in because I'm like yo if all my boys are fighting I'm fighting because there's people on the other team that was backing up this other kid who was spat in Jim's face and so it was this huge thing this kid gets on the ground and he tries to get up but then I come out of nowhere and I kick him right in the side of the ribs you know listen I have really strong legs so if I 
I can use my kicks, I'm going to use them because they're way more effective than me punching him. And this kid was on the ground. So, you know, I figured I'm just going to kick this kid because fuck this kid. He just spat in my boy's face and no one stands for that. So it's this huge brawl in the middle of the basketball court. Some people are trying to break it up, but it was literally such a mess. Everyone was just punching each other. And, you know, I really didn't get hit. I got hit in the arm. But for the most part, we were just beating the hell out of these kids. And it got to a point where it finally got separated. They just started yelling at each other. This kid's glasses were broken. You know, I kind of felt bad that his glasses were broken. But at the same time, he got what he was asking for. And, and we were honestly scared that some of the people that work at the gym would have seen this fight on the cameras and then would have revoked all of our memberships because at the gym I go to, it's a zero fight tolerance policy. And if you fight, you're just going to get your membership revoked. So that's how that worked. But luckily, somehow, they didn't see this whole scuffle unfold. I guess no one was watching the cameras. Usually someone's at the front desk watching the cameras. But... You know, no one said anything to us, and it was just absurd. So everyone stopped playing basketball after this, obviously. And, you know, we were all just cooling down in our own corners. The other kid that got jumped and his friends left, and I was just with my friends. We were all just talking about it. And then, you know, we were honestly nervous that we were going to get our gym membership revoked. So we just walked out of the gym, and we were like, yo, like, let's just go outside and just take a lap or whatever. Like, let's not be in the gym right this second. And we ended up seeing this kid outside, and honestly... We felt like we just needed to go say something to him, just be like, listen, things got out of pocket when we were playing basketball. And, you know, we kind of just apologized to the kid because we did kind of really beat him up. He had a black eye, bloody nose. Like, we're not aggressive people. I don't want you to think that I'm an aggressive person or my friends are aggressive people. It's just we don't get into situations like this often. And when we do, we kind of just go ape shit because nothing like this really happens so whenever there's an opportunity to fight or anything if it comes to us like we don't initiate it but if it comes to us we're gonna have a field day with it like we took this situation and ran with it because we immediately just jumped on this kid and we just started going crazy and you know thanks to one of my friends who just came in he literally came in it was like he wasn't even on my screen like that's how it felt like he just came out of frame running and jumped and punched him he literally like flying punched this guy it was, it was honestly super funny now that we look back on it. But, you know, we said sorry to this kid and we got on mutual terms. You know, everyone apologized and then we were all chilling. So we went home after that and, you know, that was just our night. So that was basically a fight story of mine that I had. It happened at the gym while we were playing basketball and, you know, it happened to gym, you know, not no pun intended here. And, you know, it was just a crazy story. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. It's been your neighborhood friendly Zion here or Z, whatever floats your boat. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Live it up, baby. Listen.